Hello, good evening. Uh, this video is very difficult to watch. Uh, I want to talk about this and connected to the current uh, upcoming elections. And in this video, a young black African American woman, homeless, uh, is being pulled over in the gas station. The police follow her into the gas station. On the previous week, she was given a ticket uh, and not able to, uh, in the previous months, not able to pay for the ticket. Her license is now suspended. And they are in the process of taking her car, taking the only thing that she has, homeless, and living in the car. And she is pleading with them not to take her car. Yeah, of course, it's not working. And they refuse to allow her to call somebody for help, some kind of a case worker. And, uh, and she is stressing out like you won't believe. Uh, I mean, imagine if you are uh, homeless. A lot of you probably are. You're helpless. And the only thing that you have is your car. The only thing that you can stay in from the outside element is your car. And that they're taking that away as well. Based on victimless crime that they themselves created by giving you a ticket uh, for driving with suspended license. It's a victimless crime uh, compared to the suffering uh, that she is going through. The fact that she's homeless, this only thing she lives in, in is a car. And giving her a ticket for that item that she has, a vehicle, she's not able to pay for the ticket uh, because she's homeless. Now she's coming back and taking her car. And you're going to see she's pleading with them begging them to not take her car and the amount of complete disregard for the, this this woman's life is you, know, you can see it on this uh, in these police officers they are completely unmoved and i think this disconnect uh, is completely the same amount of disconnect you see when the black people were brought up in the slave market, they've been sold. They've been sold as a commodity, like an item. Like you go into a Walmart, and you buy in a, a vacuum or some uh, item. That's the amount of feeling, amount of uh, empathy that these people have for her. <laughs> Nothing completely. I. <laughs> You know, uh, you can say she shouldn't be driving. Well, you got to get somewhere when you are homeless and and you have n no way to get around. You need to drive to get around, to look for jobs, to whatever, to go get food so you don't die. And instead of uh, creating a solution where she can get somebody to come and get the car, they're stealing the car, knowing she's not going to be able to get the car back because she's homeless. And, and they're taking her to jail. It's absolutely disheartening video, unless watch it. Why don't you come sit down so you're not standing up? Bruh, just y'all go 
keep holding me while I'm sitting down. There's nothing in here, bro. Can y'all let me go then? Can I grab my phone when y'all let me go? Bro, what the f***? No. Y'all did not even ask me to search my car. That's all I do. It's going to get tough. You have to inventory and make sure there's nothing in it. Bro, so can y'all let me go? Can you help me, please, sir? Can you please help me, bro? I'm homeless. I'm homeless, bro. I swear to God, I'm homeless, bro. I need so much help, bro. Please help me. Please help me, bro. Please help me, bro. Please help me. What is all putting me in the back of the police car, bro? I can't breathe. I can't breathe, bro. What's up? Stop touching me. Stop touching me. I have my keys. Y'all told me I can keep them. Yes, I did, bro. Please, bro, I swear to God, I cannot lose my car. I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't have anywhere else to go, bro. I can't go anywhere else, bro. Stand in the car and be an adult. Let's go. I'm trying to. Okay, stand up. Can I call my case manager, bro? I swear to God. Bro, I'm homeless. Why are you trying to get me in the car? Stand up. 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 Stand